A new campaign ad by U.S. Senate candidate Sherry Beasley takes aim at members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. The ad says dozens have broken a law meant to stop insider trading. Paul Spade checks that claim for PolitiFact. Have more than 60 members of Congress broken a law regulating their stock trades? That's what Democratic U.S. Senate candidate Sherry Beasley says in a new campaign ad. Take a look. There's a lot going on there that makes no sense. Like, get this, 64 members of Congress, Republicans and Democrats, have broken a law to stop insider stock trading, yet Washington refuses to do anything about it. Is Beasley right about that? Well, kind of. Her ad cites this article by Business Insider, which is tracking compliance with something called the Stock Act. Part of the legislation requires lawmakers to publicly and quickly disclose any stock trade they make themselves or those made by a spouse or dependent child. And they found more than 70 members in violation. Now, the law was passed in 2012 as an effort to stop insider trading, but very few lawmakers have ever been accused of that. This insider's list includes a range of violations. For instance, Senator Rand Paul's wife bought stock in a company that makes antiviral drugs in February 2020, and that was right before the pandemic started. But he didn't disclose it until about 16 months later. Then there's people like Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, who was only a couple days late reporting some stock he bought in Target and Tesla. It's also misleading to say Congress hasn't done anything about these violations. Lawmakers face fees starting at $200 for their first infraction, and then it escalates from there. So, sure, the penalties are widely criticized as being too weak. But when we asked the former chief counsel of the Senate and House Ethics Committees about Beasley's claim, he said this, it may be very technically accurate, but it hides a lot of important nuance and distinctions. And that's why the truth of me to Rick Beasley's claim, half true. Read our full fact check at WRL.com.